Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Mr. Yorkie's World. This is not going to be a full flight. However, this is going to be a small video that I thought I would make. I've been meaning to make it for quite a while, uh, showing you guys how exactly my videos are planned, such as the flights, how, how, they, how do I plan them, and uh, what tools I use and stuff like that, because I've had a lot of requests through social media and stuff like that asking me how exactly I go about finding the, uh, the flights that I do in the first place, uh, planning them, what tool I use to, 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 to aid me in the flight and stuff like that. I've been incredibly busy lately. I do apologise. Before I get started, uh, I just want to say this is a completely unedited video. So if I mess up my words and sound like a complete idiot, I do apologise. Uh, but this is going to be, as I say, completely un unedited. Um, I've been incredibly busy lately, which is why I've not made a video. Um, my one-year-old, who was only just turned one-year-old on the 29th of April, and it's now obviously the 3rd of May, um, obviously we've been having to make sure he's okay. He's not been very well lately either. Um, neither have I, neither have any of us, to be honest. So we've had to uh, sort of cut the videos uh, for a few days. But hopefully this video, which is showing you... This is going to be the next flight, by the way, that we're going to be doing on the channel, hopefully. Um, this video is just going to be for the purposes of explaining what goes into the flight planning and how I do it and stuff like that. So I hope that it's going to be something that, uh, that that answers a lot of questions. Let's get into it. So this is the website I primarily use for planning the flights and finding out what flights there are that I could potentially replicate. Uh, this is FlightAware. It's uk.flightaware.com. I believe there probably will be another one like just a flightaware.com without the UK. I've no idea. Um, you can see that, for example, we've got Kenya Airways Flight 210 from uh, Nairobi in Kenya over to Mumbai in India. Now, this is going to be the next flight. So I, I would look at this. I would go through, um, like, let's just go for, exa for example, I go to Flight Aware. This is what I'd see. This is the screen that I've, I've uh, sort of bookmarked, if you will. I would click on, for example, if I wanted to do a flight with the Boeing 737-800, I'd click on that. This will show me when it loads up all of the uh, the flights that are registered on flightaware.com that are using the Boeing 737. And I'd go through them and have a look and think, oh, well, I, f I fancy doing that one. And, uh, and then I'd click on it, and that's where we'd get to uh, this page here. So from this page, you can see that the it's Kenya Airways 210. Uh, it shows me the departure and the destination and stuff like that. Uh, the ICAO code and everything like that. Down here, it shows you the route that it takes or it, or it took in a, previ a previous flight. And on the right-hand side here, it says uh, that the speed it was going. Sometimes it'll say the altitude. Sometimes you have to get the altitude from here um, and the distance. And it takes about six hours and nine minutes. So, for example, for this flight, this is actually going to be pretty good. I, I, I really don't mind doing a six-hour flight. Um, in, in the 737, it's not really long-haul, long-haul. And it's... You know, it's a nice little flight to do. So what I would do, I'd take all of that, I'd open up Pro ATC X, which is the program that I use for the uh, the ATC sounds, like the ground sounds, the uh, the transmissions and stuff from other aircraft, from AI traffic. Um, I would right click and go to New Flight Plan, which will bring up this page here. And all I'm going to have to do, I've already got the 737-800 uh, selected. The airline is already on Kenya Airways, but it's not the right flight ID. You can see it's 8569, and we're going to be using 210. So if I put 210 in there, select the departure airport, and we can type in the ICAO code, which is HKJK, and press Enter. So it knows that that's where we're going to be flying from. Destination, same procedure, basically. So VABB, which is Mumbai. I always tick the box here that says prefer ILS slash GLS slash localizer approaches even without transition. I am pretty lazy. I just prefer ILS approaches, so I always click that. You can see that it gives you a cruising altitude already. Now, we're going to be changing that in a moment, but first, we need to go to recalculate route. That will calculate a route not the same necessarily as what this aircraft went on on the flight aware, but using all the correct sort of airways and stuff like that. And these are all the uh, the waypoints and stuff. I will then select flight level 370. And the reason for that is because three like anything over that, sometimes it can be a little bit iffy when it comes to fuel and stuff. So I prefer it to be nice and simple. And as, as you can see, if we go along the timeline, the, the aircraft sort of went to about 41,000. I don't really believe it went that high. Possibly did, I don't know. But uh, we're going to 
go somewhere in the middle here. I like to just select like a middle ground and it's about 370. So we're going to set that to 370. I'm going to right click, select this route that it's already worked out and click copy. Now we're going to go over to Avlosoft's Electronic Flight Bag or EFB. This is another navigation tool that I use as well as um, good old uh, little nav map, which I'll show you in a moment. We're going to go to route setup. Click select and we're going to paste the route into here and click OK. That's going to load all the information that Pro ATCX has just given us into here, apart from the cruise altitude. So we need to put 370 in there. And once that's done, that's all we need. So we can click save. And as you can see, it's going to save it directly into our PMDG slash flight plan slash NGX. I'm going to get rid of the 01 here. I always do that on all my flight plans. And obviously you can change the directories as well, which is, uh, which is pretty good. Click OK. And that's it. That's the uh, EFB bit done. All we need to do now is just click activate. Um, we can save the route on Pro ATCX as well. And that's the route saved into Pro ATCX. When I'm in the simulator, I will literally right click and click fly now. That will start the ATC up. It will automatically tune us to um, like the weather and stuff at the local airport, uh, the ATIS. But we have to we have to basically just switch over frequencies and then we're okay. And we can start communicating with ATC. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I know I said this was going to be an unedited video. Well, that didn't last very long. Uh, fuel planning. This is one thing that I didn't cover. Now, for fuel planning, I literally just use this very basic website. It's fuelplanner.com. You can select your aircraft and stuff like that from the list. Uh, select your origin, select your destination. So, for example, uh, if I went and did the uh, 737-800 by PMDG, I then went ahead and did uh, VABB to uh, HKJK. I know it's the other way around for the flight that we're going to be doing, but uh, nevertheless, planner. It tells you the fuel usage, the reserve fuel, and the fuel on board. That is where I get my... Uh, fuel information from just to add that in there um that's the basics that is it that is all i do really to to get a flight going uh, sometimes there is a bit of a discrepancy with the type of aircraft I, if you've seen my previous videos you'll know that i've sometimes flown with like a triple seven that was meant to be a cargo flight and i didn't use the cargo triple seven that's because where it says aircraft type here it doesn't always tell you that it's, an, that it's like a cargo aircraft. What I've learned from you very, very helpful subscribers, however, is that the flight number gives it away sometimes. Like if you have like four digits instead of three or something, um, that's, that's a very helpful piece of information because I didn't know that before. So I learn a lot of things as I go along. Um, I don't bother with PFPX. I haven't got that at the moment. It might be something I can buy in the future. But for now, I'm not really, in, in case anybody's not realised, I'm not really bothered about realism, like fully f being fully realistic in, in this in this simulator. Uh, the way I see it is, it's my world, it's my channel. I prefer to do things the way I do them, and 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 nearly two thousand of you agree. So I've always said the same, and I always will say the same. If people are looking for somebody who literally follows everything by the book, this is the wrong channel. I'm not a real world pilot. I've got no intentions of becoming one because the amount of training that is required is ridiculous. I just take an interest in simulation and I do take an interest in, uh, in, in, in airplanes in general. So I would never want to sort of do everything exactly by the book. So that is it. That is basically what I do to create a flight plan. You can see that now I've got EFB there. I would just literally click activate and it would activate the route there. I've also got Pro ATCX, which I just need to start the flight plan and it will automatically start it during the simulator. Another thing I then open up, as well as those two tools, is Active Sky for P3D uh, version 4. And I'll just use this to check like the, uh, the weather conditions and stuff over at the uh, destination airport and also at the, uh, at, at the departure. Um, in terms of what runways I'm going to be using when I take off and land, I go based on what Pro ATCX says. Um, again, I'm not really bothered about which runway is not in use or which runway is supposed to be identified for this particular aircraft. I really could not care less. Um, it's a simulator. Again, I'll go back to that particular part. Um, but that's what I thought I'd do. I just thought I'd make a video because this is going to be the next flight. So look forward to it. We're going to be going from uh, Kenya to India or Nairobi to Mumbai or HKJK to VABB, if you really want to be that specific. It's a six hour and nine minute flight, should be up in the next few days. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this helped a few people and answered some questions. Um, 
and I think I've done pretty well by not slurring my words in this video. It's a completely unedited, unedited video, so I'm pretty happy with myself. But, uh, but apart from that, thanks for watching, guys. Look out for the next video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.